to show us. Should we welcome you to the stage? Yeah. Come on, kids. something funny before we start. So when I went backstage, we looked down and the bottom of my hem had completely fallen down. So someone had ducked out and got some needle and thread, but it was too dark back there. And we're thinking, what are we gonna do? And Shelly's like, tear and tape. So I tear and tape Oscar. And so it came to the rescue. <laughs> My name is Kaz Boylan, and I am presently Silver Elite. I have four incredible boys, and I've been married to my hubby Ben for 21 years. Now, why, why, or how I started with Stamping Up is a little different to most of you here. So at 27 years of age, I was pregnant with my fourth son when a nasty virus attacked my heart, and they had to bring him on three weeks early at nine pound, 15 and a half ounces. <laughs> so after a few operations and a cocktail of medication to keep this little heart ticking, I was actually left with a lot of things that I could no longer do. And no, a lot of restrictions on what I could no longer do and not much that I actually could. So when my cardiologist suggested paper crafting as a way of aiding my heart's healing, I honestly thought he was a little crazy. <laughs> he went on to say, though, that studies show that when you create something as simple as a card, it works twofold. So firstly, after the first 30 minutes of crafting, your body's cortisol levels or stress indicators are significantly lower. So it means we're all happier for longer and we feel less stressed. And for me, it meant not as many hard episodes. And secondly, when you create, your body releases the same endorphins you would if you were exercising. So, because you have a sense of pride and achievement. <laughs> so I may not be the most naturally creative person, but I went to classes and I stamped my little heart out and I went on to join this amazing and absolutely supportive company. And I don't think Shelley and Sarah realise, for me, Stamping Up has been an absolute lifesaver. So I'm absolutely delighted to share with you the Follow Your Art product suite. Now the Follow Your Art product suite has been designed for every single person in this room. The paper crafters, the 3D lovers, the, that's me, the card makers and the scrappers. The entire suite has been inspired by our very own Stamping Out products. So think reinkers, blends, watercolour pencils, aqua painters and our snips. Now, Stamping Up intentionally struck a balance between Stamping Up specific imagery and general crafting, so it's going to appeal to all of our crafters across the board. So let's look at the suite a little more closely. So, we'll start with the It Starts With Art stamp set. So it comes in a clean, and these three sentiments fit within this label piece. How much fun are we gonna have creating with these beautiful images? Now the arts and craft dies are really exciting. So other than stamping, cutting out the stamped images you'll see above, this paper clip actually works. It got a bit squished in my luggage, ladies. It also has M gems. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Bruno. Okay. So it also has the addition of embossing all of the buttons and the sequins in the set. You can use the label die to wrap baker's twine or linen thread around it as a sample for your customers. And the border dies are a stunning addition to the front of any card or scrapbooking page. Now, my tip is, don't throw away any of your offcuts, like these. These I call hundreds and thousands, perfect for shaker cards, but they're the insides of your buttons and your border dies. So here's a project that I've used using most of the borders that you'll find. 
And as you can see, the ribbon accent is absolutely beautiful. What? And these are the buttons, I've just used them to be handles. Oh, I wonder what's funny. <laughs> Now, the designer series paper is full of eclectic, beautiful, crafty patterns. So on one side, we have craft-specific images. And on the other side, we have these gorgeous, beautiful times to work with. This one is my absolute favorite. Now, the button embossing folder will be perfect for the back of any card. So this is what it looks like, and I've just quickly used a dauber backstage so that you're able to see the definition on it. Now the embossing, no it's not. The Follow Your Art Embellishment Kit comes in this gorgeous little box. Wow. And as you can see, I've used some of the embellishments you'll find inside to create this beautiful gift so you can re-gift it. Now inside, you're gonna find 64 pieces, including stitched elements in four different color shades, these beautiful little paper clips, linen thread in Calypso Coral and Pacific Toy, and these teeny tiny, I'm not sure if you can get right in there, Tom. It says, made with love. How cute are they? So those charms are going to be perfect. <laughs> so these details are what makes our projects go wow. And that's how we're going to market them. So, have you seen these? So, oh my goodness, our very own mini shopping boxes. I'm going to use these, I just think they're perfect for our host efforts gifts, our team promotion gifts, and quite frankly, I'm going to use them in market events to promote stamping up and our little business. But what could make things cuter, I hear you ask? How about our very own stamping up washi logo? <laughs> yeah. So it comes in a set of three. Comes in a set of three, and they're absolutely fabulous. These two actually have the exact print you'll find in the designer series paper, so the coordination is beautiful. Now, as you can see, the coordination within the product is absolutely phenomenal, and that's what I'm going to focus on when designing my card classes and my events around this suite. So, when I ran the beautiful ribbon die, through our cutting machine, so this is what it looks like, you are left with this gorgeous ribbon element, so an accent ribbon. But you're also left with this off cut. So for me, it was one of those oh my goodness moments. You can use this die not for the purpose it was created for. It is the perfect wave die cut ready to create any card with an ocean or beachfront scene on it. So with that in mind, here is my avid card. What? So for those of you who design classes, design your first class with the ribbon die and then use your off cuts in your second project that way, there's no waste, you save money, and your customers are like, oh my goodness, I can use this in another, in another way. So we're able to upsell that bundle. And that's what we want, right? We want the stamp and the framelits. Now for our casual crafters, we want them to fall in love with the, all the coordinating products in the suite. Because as you can see, there's so many beautiful stuff to work with. So here is my casual crafter card. Oh, so I think I'm going to be sharing this on all forms of social media because the beautiful designer series paper, the pretty embellishments and the layers are going to sell the suite. 
And it's kind of appeal to any crafter that likes to craft, don't you think? I always think that's beautiful. Now for our beginner steppers, we need to design classes that focus on the beautiful imagery within the stamp set because we want our customers to go home and be able to recreate these cards without the, oh my goodness, I can't do it. There's too much happening, it's too hard. So here is our beginner stamper cards. I love the images in this stamp set. opened that big brown box. We all know when we get that box, it's the moment of, oh my goodness, with new product in. So the first time I saw the suite, I was like, oh my goodness, I love stamping up. It was a little bit like, oh my goodness. But, so I felt like I had to create something that reflected how I felt about stamping up. I'm really nervous about this because it's my very first stamping up scrapbooking page. Wow. Wow. So as you can see, how I've created it, I used our window sheet and I just cut out a love heart in the middle and I stuck one sticky dot just so I had something to actually butt the pencils around the image. That way I knew it wasn't, you know, a piece of paper, it moves, whereas the window sheet doesn't. So I've used our foil strips, and then I've used all of our beautiful stamping blends. And then you can tell I have used a lot of winter stuff. <laughs> I'm actually hoping that Shelley and Sarah might actually sign it as a memento of my time here at Stamping Up. So, we're up to the make and take. We all love making make and take. So, my tip is, when you actually stamp your button images, you only need it around the outside edge. Use your beautiful coordinating designer series paper, stamp your image, and then just colour in with the beautiful blends provided. You will need to cut the border die just a pop underneath. I hope you can see that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Now, if the Follow Your Art product suite makes your heart dance a happy little beat like mine. I hope you participate in the purchase product purchase premiere. The samples I've created will be on the board outside with a few extra for you to fall in love with. Thank you so much. For <laughs>